in Athens right now at the Parthenon. It looks like they're doing some construction work to it. And you think they'd use a nicer crane for this job, but they haven't. Maybe they don't have the money. Maybe not. Sire, I want to just point out all the stuff that was below a lot of ruins. Oops. And there's the little amphitheater over there. That's where the where they watched all the plays and everything. So they just show the other amphitheater. There's the big one. That's actually the smaller one over there. Okay. Oh. That's that at one time was the bigger one. Okay. So that's the smaller one. A lot of ruins, a lot of rocks up here. Um, it's pretty neat though, but pretty cool history. Who is all this stuff built for? Athena, the goddess of Athena. Why? She was the protector of the city. And she was like a warrior goddess and helped the um, Athens be the Greek people overcome the Persians and things like that. Hmm. So she was pretty important. Okay. She's pretty important. And you can see they did this whole thing for her. Who did she win the war against? The Persians. No. The god Poseidon. Well. No, and the Persians. Well, it was between her and him. It was like, like who like they Norman. were. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And then did you see the view at Athens? It's a big city. I'm told that half of Greece's population lives in the city by our host. Protini. Why would you put that on camera? Oh, well, I was sick the other two days, and then I gave her my cold. She's not really sick, but she has a cold. Okay, yeah. that's really what this interview was about, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm cutting you off now.